Uh, hello everyone and welcome to this stream so I thought in this stream we'll uh, make some physics based objects and I was thinking of two things uh, one is this office chair with the rotating wheels and the other one would be a crane so I think if we will manage to do these I'll call myself happy at the end of the stream uh, if the stream doesn't interrupt like last time when the computer actually restarted so I hope it doesn't happen again but yeah so let's see so I've created um, just I'll uh, just check quickly the stream here so I think everything looks fine Okay, so I've created a map for the office chair. I've created this map here. And let's just go ahead and create the blueprint for it. So we'll say a office chair. Okay, now, so we've got the wheel, let's see here. I get this wheel and as you can see so we've got a rod that is the axis and this wheel so the wheel rotates in two planes so one is around this axis in the horizontal plane and the other one is vertical but only this part moves so we're I think we'll just uh, implement that so this will actually be stationary and only this will, will rotate um, relative to it and then the whole thing will then rotate um, uh, in the socket of the arms of the chair well, actually the feet of the chair so okay so let's go ahead and create that so we'll just use uh, a cylinder for that. We'll say cylinder here, and this will be the wheel. Let's call this the wheel roller. That's because it this will be the rolling part of the wheel. So this one. Okay. So let's rotate this. like that 90 degrees so so let me see this in global so I think I'd prefer having this uh, rolling uh, let's add a physics constraint already physics constraint like that so as you can see here the physics constraint has this green disc which is the twist movement and it's perpendicular to the x-axis so I would prefer that the twist motion actually be the twist motion so we'll rotate this also 90 degrees so now if you look at the constraint the twist motion which is like that is actually the twist motion of the wheel okay so of course we'll scale this down so if we have one meter here and we'll say 0 0.1 then we'll have a wheel of 10 centimeters wide theoretically so I think I'll leave it like that now here in order to see it rotate more easily then we just clear this and we'll have this pattern right so it we can see it when it rotates now let's see oh, so we'll put the rod here so let's say we we'll use a cylinder for that also rod And here 
I can't see it, but I don't know where I... Um, because it's big, yeah. So this one, I think we'll put 0 0.01. That will be one centimeter wide, I think. So maybe, uh, yeah, it's too small, I think. Let's put here five, maybe. Okay. That's too much. Now let's have this at three then. Three like that. Uh, okay. And then we'll scale this. Oh, that's too much. Uh, it's because when we're snapping, we're using this. Let's use this one. That's better. Okay, so put this one here. So this should be the wheel, right? So let's see. So because we want it, we want to have this multiple times, I think we'll make this a child here. So the roller will make a child at the rod and also the physics constraints. So we'll put roller axis like that. Which will be, so as you can see, this is scaled up. Wow. No, actually it's a normal size, but I think it's a gizmo. It's the visual representation that is getting um, bigger. Not sure why, maybe didn't think of this. Okay, so so we'll f so this roller we'll put here the rod and here the wheel roller. Now the roller axis is actually good. It should be in the center of the roller, the wheel, and let's just configure this physics constraint so the linear limits locked and we'll lock this and unlock this one so as you can see it's the twist motion this one and yeah I think we'll leave it like that it's just that we want to add some friction so I go here to angular motor when the target velocity because we've selected twist before, we'll put twist here, and I think we'll leave this to one. So now if I want to try this out, I'll just put it like this. That's kind of small, but I think it's okay. Too much. Let's see. Now, we forgot to simulate physics on the wheel here, and we'll also disable the collision. Okay, let's try again now. So, as you can see, wheel rotates in relation to the rod so now if we put this so let's make it fun already let's add a physics constraint here and this one will anchor the rod in midair but will anchor it nonetheless so anchor so let's just test the rotation of the whole thing right so here we'll put none, and that means it will um, anchor to the the actor itself. And here we'll put rod. Okay, so here uh, we'll just uh, lock everything 
like that and leave only the rotation in the horizontal plane so let's look at the anchor let's see so again the twist motion is like that that's not good because we wanted the twist motion to be in relation to this object and what makes sense here is that the twist be in the horizontal plane so let's rotate this physics constraint we'll rotate it like this 90 degrees so that should be okay but this one should be here so the 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 um, the center of rotation is actually at the center of this one so of this object so we'll take here location let's just put this to zero here seven ten maybe ah yeah okay so let's put this to zero okay wait so this has moved already because they are children of that one so let's put this at zero okay zero 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 and this one is zero zero and zero so that's it that's exactly what we wanted okay so now as you can see it's already set up so this will rotate like that and the other one rotate like that and let's just add some friction to this one also to the anchor point so here we all also uh, also had twist so I think that should be okay okay so let's try this again now of course this works in but the other one doesn't because we forgot to put the rod to make it simulate physics here and you know what let's just make this bigger so we can see it better okay okay wait did we have a bug here I think when we activate when we play it wobbles which is not good but that's because we probably forgot to put here let's see I think we put in some no oh, that's actually okay so let's see this one locked free yeah not sure why it does that but let's see again so play yeah so it wobbles a bit but let's see so yeah did we add the friction here not sure about that okay so if I see correctly there are a few more viewers so let's just I'll just show you what I'm trying to do so I'm trying to do implement this office chair uh, physics based okay and what I'm doing now is this wheel so I'm having this rod and this wheel and I've just set it midair so now it rotates like this in the horizontal plane and the other one rotates like that so let's so the anchor holds this the rod in place and the roller axis holds the wheel so let's see here we have let's put this to 10 let's say it has more friction the rod has more friction did did i put 100 yes that's not good 10 okay so if we try again now so as you can see it rotates and it rotates like that and then it should also rotate let me grab this one yeah 
So it already works as an office chair wheel, as you can see. But it kind of wobbles, and I'm not sure why. Let's grab this. Yeah, so I can grab it. Actually, that's yeah, that's what happens when you have multiple physics constraints chained. What happens is that uh, they start to become unstable. And in the tutorial that I made uh, w for the rope, actually, I've explained there what happens as it's because it has to up update in a chain. So either that or I've missed something, but I don't think I missed it. So the anchor we have here is locked everything. We just have the twist motion free. What is weird here is that when I put the friction here, it actually doesn't act as it should. Let's see again. Let's let's put it to 100 and see. Well, it does apparently, but it stops a lot. Yeah, so this is kind of how it should work, as you can see. Because the rotation in this axis should be slower. So let's go ahead in the roller axis here. We'll put this to 10 also. I think I know why it does that. Yeah, I figured it out. So what we did here, we scaled this. And I think it changed the masses. That's why the friction is not enough. So let's try again now. So we have two rotations now. Yeah. So it already works, as you can see. Now the thing would be to actually make the chair. So I'll add, we'll have to add some feet. Um, so I haven't actually found a way to... I haven't actually found a way to... Um, how should we do this? So yeah, normally what you would do in like object oriented programming, you say, okay, so we have this, um, the wheel of the chair and we'll just copy it and just put five wheels and that's it. But the problem is that here, I think I've tried this with the child actor and it didn't actually work. I don't know why, because it's it's more complicated to use child actors. So here, I think we'll just copy them. I think we'll three should be okay. So let's go ahead and make that. So let's let's just add a cube for the body of the chair. So we got so we have the feet here with an axis and then the body and we'll actually make this rotate also so at the end when I'm done finished <coughs> <coughs> sorry about that so when I finished with this it should actually move like a chair on its own wheels and we should be able to push it around <coughs> <coughs> so yeah let's do that okay so we might have a problem because this is the the wheel is the child of this one, but let, let's see how it goes. Okay, so let's add. We've added that this cube, and we'll say that this is the um, the body. Okay. So let's see. It should be big. Yes. So let's say it's. Let's scale it down like that. 0 0.5 okay so this is one meter actually 
So let's scale it down further. Three. Big. And yeah, like that. And now let's put the axis. So we'll put a cylinder. Axis. And we'll scale this down also. Now, okay. So let's just get the the rod out of the way. Uh, I think we have to the anchor of the rod. I think we'll have to also now. Let's move them together like this. I I wanted to avoid making the anchor of the rod uh, child to the rod because I don't know how it behaves, how it will behave. But you know what? Let's just try it out and see what happens. Because the anchor itself, the physics constraint, which we call anchor, is actually pinned to the body, to the axle itself. So let's see how if it uh yeah i think yeah the problem here is that i've put the axis and it collides with it so i fix that okay so let's see so it actually works yeah okay so let's see So it works and now we can move the rod, uh, only the rod, and it will take all the other elements with it. Yeah, okay. So now let's put the axis back. <laughs> okay, we'll just kill it a bit. Just leave it like that, but just scale it on the vertical. Okay. So maybe less. Yes. So let's just let's now put the arm. <coughs> so theoretically we don't have to make the visual representation of the arm. That's because we can anchor the rod to the the axis itself and it should work and uh, you know what we'll just leave it like that because uh, yeah let's just leave it like that i don't care about the visual representation actually okay so let's so now okay it becomes start to become complicated here so let's add a physics constraint so now we want to attach the axis to the body. So we'll use the physics constraint for that also. Uh, well, how should we call this? It's the axis of the axis, but that's, yeah. Even if it's a bit funny, it's not good. So let's say anchor, axis anchor. Okay, so we can just leave it wherever. I uh, just have to rotate it again so the twist motion is in the horizontal plane. So let's just rotate it like this. So now the green one, the twist one, is actually in the plane that it's supposed to be. Okay, so now the axis... The axis anchor will be anchored to the body here. And here we'll put it to the axis. Okay, so this one will also leave locked only. We'll only leave the, the twist motion. So let's look again. I think I would have wanted this to be. Let's. Uh, where was. 
So we'll change this mesh. Let's we'll use a cube, I think, because I want it. I want it to show when it actually rotates, so it's more easily be identifiable. Okay, so let's see this. So we, the wheel is now anchored to the body, no, to the axle itself. So let's just test this. Let's disable the collision here. Same story. And uh, we'll just put the axis or simulate physics on the axis. Let's try again now. So as you can see, the axis rotates, no problem. Okay. I'll just add the friction. Uh, so here, twist and swing, twist, and we we'll put 10 to this. Let's try this again. Okay. Yeah. That should, that should be okay. Okay, so let's see. So we have the, the body. Uh, now the body. Uh, okay, let's actually hmm, how should we link the rod of the wheel to this well, actually we have this already in place let's see So if you look into the rod here, we have the anchor. Let's rename this rod anchor. Okay. So this one used to be connected. Uh, where is it? To the actor itself. So here we'll put, just put access like that. So and that should do it right let's see if we've done yeah okay so it's starting to look like something that looks awesome again the wobbling we'll see about that Cause the problem is that the physics constraint are chained together and it's actually uh, related to their the difference in mass between them, but we'll see about that. That's funny. That's cool. Okay, so now what we can do, we can actually test this already like this. So what we'll have is we'll actually use the Yeah, let's take the body here. So let's let's try again. That's funny. That's cool. Okay, so our office chair is starting to take shape. So now we can actually test this with only one wheel, and I'll show you how. So. This is the body and what we have to do now is make it simulate physics actually because it was pinned until now and we'll just use the the locks that we have here so in order to so it doesn't topple because it has only one wheel we just lock its rotation so we can rotate in the z axis but not in the other ones so now we should actually see the chair well it was just one wheel but let's see okay so yeah <laughs> that's funny <laughs> okay so this happens because the the 
the objects that are on top has a, have a, a lot greater mass than this one and they actually the physics constraint just gives way but as you can see it kind of works right That's cool. So, yeah. Now, we, well, I have to work on this. So, I'll have to work on uh, why it's bouncing like that. Actually, we'll have to put the masses to sink the masses to have. Uh, see that's the problem with the physics constraint is that you are uh, you're forced to play with the masses until you get something good because this one okay let's okay so uh, let's just duplicate this I don't wanna I don't wanna have just one wheel let's just duplicate this and we'll make three wheels and that should suffice for, suffice for now okay uh, okay, so the duplication it's not great, but we'll try it out. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Can I undo this? Yes, I can. So, uh, I think we'll have to duplicate them one by one. So, let's see. I have rod two. Wheel roller. This is actually really annoying that I have to duplicate all of this by hand, but just makes a mess if I'm not doing it this way. Uh, so this is roller axis two here and rod anchor. Okay, so now in order to make it work as it should, so it's let's move it already out of the way because they are children should be okay. I actually don't care about these rotations because once the simulations start, they will rotate however they want. But we will put them in the triangle. Okay, so let's see. So we go here for the roller axis as you can see it's connected to this then the good so we put two for everything and it should work so the axis stay the same because it's one axis is the axis of the chair uh, and I think we've got this one it's tested like that uh, <laughs> that's really cool Yeah, okay. So it's starting to take shape. So again, we'll do rod three here. Uh, that was a three, that should be a three. Like that, duplicate this one. Here, wheel roller three. This is tedious, but we kind of have to do it. So, roller axis. Wait. Three. And rod anchor. And this is the, the last one. So, rod anchor. Three. Okay. So, let's just move this out of the way like that or just <laughs> worry about them in being a triangle rate later let's make sure it works so we'll modify this here we'll put three for everything in the physics constraints okay again axis stay the same 
So I think so if I look here we have the correct setup. Let's try this. So I think that's good. Are we ready to to roll it out? <laughs> that was a bad pun, but yeah, it's late, so let's see it now. So the big moment, we take the, the body and remove, wait, 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 I have to put the wheels in a perfect, well, almost perfect triangle, right? Uh, equilateral triangle not sure what it's called well I'm not sure but I'm not sure in English so let's see top here uh, okay uh, let's see this so we'll take the rod here I'll actually put them by um, visually like that I won't try to calculate the actual positions it should work I think uh, let's see I think that's good right let's come back to perspective yeah so I think it I think it's, it should work right or maybe well you know what if it doesn't work it will topple so so big moment, we we'll take the body and unlock the rotation. Okay, let's try again now. So let's back a bit. So is will it be an epic fail? I don't know. Let's play. Whoa, okay. So it did topple, but let's see, let's let's put it on the ground, okay. Let's put it on the ground like that, and oh, I actually grabbed it. Uh, put it like that. Oh, so it does stay upright, but it rolls by itself. That's a good. That's not great, right? Should we? So I think. It should push it on the base so you see if it works. Well, actually it works. So there's our uh, office chair. It actually works. So if I rotate this, as you can see, the body is actually independent from the wheels and the axis. But if I wanna, okay. Let's push it around and, uh, wait, wait. That's funny. Okay. Can we put it upright, back upright? I don't know. Well, let's just play again. Okay, so if I poke it here, it will actually try to rotate the base. As you can see. So it actually works. That's I'm kind of a bit surprised that it worked from the first time. Well, of course, it has issues, but it's a good start, right? <laughs> so now, uh, as you can see, so I'll push it like that, and then I'll try to. As you can see, the body is actually rotating as. It is pulled, so that's good. Okay, enough playing around with it. So, uh, now the nightmare, which is should. I don't know, should we try to calibrate the the masses of the object? I don't know. 
because well something happened oh okay so I now I see that we got some messages it thinks uh, thanks for the follow uh, so zero wait so I have because I don't have two monitors I actually have another computer by my side so let's see zero skies uh, well I'm actually trying so light tech workshop ask what I'm doing well I was trying to sorry about that to implement this office chair with the rolling wheels and I've kind of managed to do it even if it doesn't have five wheels as you can see it moves so it's quite stable if it's it's not really really that stable because they are not in a neck wheel lit uh triangle so that's the problem and I have to calibrate the masses because as you can see it pushes down too much on the wheels and that is because the body is actually too heavy so as you can see it wobbles yeah that's yeah I, th I thought it was fun actually the this the idea of this came um, I think uh, just just one hour before and I said hey you know what that would be fun to do and actually the next uh, wait just just a second so zero sky 36 I'm gonna answer you just just in in one minute so after this I'm trying actually I'm gonna try to make this um, crane okay with the rotating and everything except that the rope will not actually be a rope it will be just be th physics constraints that simulate the rope because I mean ropes used like this are really really unstable so you almost can't use that for uh, for actually pulling weights I've actually done a tutorial on YouTube and um, on how to make a rope with the uh, bones and as you if you go and look at that we'll see that it's very unstable so yeah okay so uh, just one second so it says if you change the additional rotation of the wheels it might not start off by rolling off uh, you if you change the initial rotation yes yes I could use and uh, this is actually what I will do uh, so the the cable actor is actually I don't know if you know but it's actually doesn't apply forces on the other objects so uh, I was kind of disappointed of this when I found out because I thought it would you know just be a rope normal rope but but it actually doesn't so one if an object pushes onto it it just gives way and it doesn't push back so um, yeah that's the problem so the rope will actually be used only just to make the visual representation of, of this cable right here so the other things and will probably just adjust the length of the rope in real time and uh, then the other things will be done with physics constraints so yeah as you said earlier if I change the position of the wheels the rotation of the wheels i don't think so i think sh they should work correctly so we have this rod here so let's put it like this right so i think i think should be okay and you know why because because it's uh, we have it pinned in this location it can rotate however but wait I think what you meant if it's if we rotate it like this of course it won't work but if we just rotate it in the horizontal plane it should work let me let me just try this I hope I, I don't ruin it 
Let's see. Wait, uh, again, again. So as you can see, it does work, it still works. So yeah, and that, that's because it was the twisting. So if we, when it simulates, it just rotates. So it, it it's not a problem. But if we do this, on the other hand, it just completely screws the, uh, the setup. Okay. So enough talking about this. So did you say something else? <laughs> How long have I been working with Unreal? Well, I don't know. I think it's maybe two or three years. I wouldn't say I'm that solid, but you know, I'm just I'm trying I'm trying to learn and actually I'm trying to go in depth with what I learn. So, which is actually very difficult because uh, the Unreal has really it's lacking in the in the. Um, uh, documentation department I'd say it's really nice especially for the physics constraints so uh, that's why I started to do actual tutorials on this because I haven't found almost anything there were just two or three tutorials online and that's it so I've actually started to um, to explore this on my own and that's how I actually I've um, you know, ended up with this. I don't know if you guys know about the YouTube channel. I don't know if you come from there or, but I've actually, this is my project where I do the tutorials. And as you can see, I have quite some stuff here. And this is all the experimentation I've done. And I think I've got some stuff that I haven't done tutorials on. And yeah, that's because actually I've um, studied the physics constraint because I had you know I've had a hard time with it so um, yeah but yeah I think I got off topic so um, yeah so let's go back to this chair so since there are actually people now watching because <laughs> before I was a uh, I did a stream uh, two days ago and just by myself now okay since there are people watching you guys wanna want me to try to calibrate these uh, weights or should we go ahead and work on the crane let me look at the clock whoa that's kind of late yeah so we can go ahead and work on the crane I think that's more fun <laughs> physics master I wouldn't call myself that but I do have the most tutorials on physics uh, online uh, in Unreal Engine actually even yeah thanks for watching thanks for watching that's it's really nice that people uh, join um, okay so yeah so should we go ahead and do the crane because if we start to calibrate this, it's gonna take a while, I think, and it might be, might not be that fun. Uh, I think we'll do the crane. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. Well, it was by uh, need that I actually did them so and I was just I thought you know there's so uh, so much uh, void in this area that I <laughs> yeah let's do the crane so yeah we'll do the crane um, so there was so much void in this area um, in the physics based uh, stuff that actually had I said you know what I have to uh, share this okay so let's see a crane 
By the way, I have no idea if it, this will work, but you know, I mean, I, I am confident that it will work, but I can't say it will for, you know, I am not 100%, maybe 80%. Okay, so let's get back to this image right here. So first we have, so we have this, uh, let's call it pole, I don't know exactly how it's called, but yeah, we have one and two, and then we have the the hook that is hanging onto this, so I think we'll just do these two. So these, I th if I remember correctly, they move, they are actually uh, pinned to each other. Yeah, well, I'm glad it helps, you know. Okay, so I think we'll just do this. Uh, <coughs> yeah, so let's add a cube. Um, let's call this uh, uh, Paul. It's just, I don't know, we'll call this Paul. Okay, and yeah, it's because uh, where I live, it's actually one o'clock in the night, and yeah someone is sleeping in the house so just yeah <laughs> i know I, I is it okay is the sound volume okay i don't know because i'm really speaking into the mic and i hope you can hear it yeah okay <laughs> yeah so <laughs> bro yeah hope so yeah okay so Let's go ahead and do this. So we'll uh, we'll just scale this down. So we'll scale it on X and Y. So let's see, 0 0.2. I think it should be okay. Uh, should we make this to scale? I don't know. I think I think we we'll, we won't make it to. Uh, you know what? I think we'll try to make this not to scale, but. Yeah, but we'll make it bigger. So let's see. So let's say this will be uh, 0 0.5 meters wide, like that. And here we'll just put, but normally I think it, this uh, crane would have 30 meters in height, but I think we'll just put 20, like that. Oh, that's already big. No, let's put 10. Yeah, that should suffice. Suffice. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Well. Yeah. It's the whispering with the. I think I'm. I'm channeling Bob Ross. Right. I'm trying to channel Bob Ross, so <laughs> I, yeah, I'm glad it's, you like the voice and um, the sound setup. By the way, uh, my computer sometimes, um, I don't know, just hangs. So if I go offline for no reason, just wait two minutes, I'll be back. Okay, so let's add another cube like that. And we'll take, we'll do the, so 0 0.5, we'll take this from here, cube 0 0.5. Uh, wait, that's not good. So it should be on the Z axis. And yeah. And I'll just scale this like that. Okay. Uh, so let's scale it more. I think that should be okay, right? It either looks like a crane or the the things that were used to hang people <laughs> in the west, wild west, right? Okay, so. So this should move together 
This is my, uh, yeah, CPU killer. I, yeah, maybe, but not sure. You you mean when you implement physics, it's a CPU killer, or is? I hope my stream doesn't lag. Wait. Yes, I do use Blender. Yes, I just use it because it's free and I kind of like it. Or although I know it has some, you know, small issues, but. You know, I, it's really, I really like it. Yeah. <laughs> Watching cinema, yeah, right, cinema. Okay, so I didn't know before how distracting the chat was. By the way, I, I'm, I, I'm not bother. I'm just, uh, it's hard to keep up. You know, do two things at the same time. Okay, so. Uh, okay, so we got this. So now we have this one. So let's just make the crane rotate, right? Let me see. We have a problem here. Well, not necessarily a problem, but the thing is that uh, we might have to make this um a character because uh it will get really complicated if we make it a character uh it will take like two or three hours to implement i think uh now let's do you know what we'll pull we'll pull from it with the our character so i'll we'll see if it works like that yeah and we'll just call it from our we'll use e to use the object I think yeah that's easier so let's go ahead and we'll take the pole and we'll make it a child uh, sorry it was the other way around actually so this is we'll call this the arm and we'll make a child to the pole okay yeah it's just a start yeah i hope more people will watch yeah i can use two cubes for uh, what exactly not sure what for what but yeah i think this is the crane and then we'll have the hook here that's that's easy okay so let's just add a physics constraint Okay, so we'll say what was anchor, well, let's say crane axis, I think. Okay, so the first component will leave to none, that means it's anchored to the actor. And then second one will put the pole. And since the pole is as a child, the, the other one, it, they will move together. Okay, the pole by the way, okay, so we'll simulate physics on this one and then I think here we'll lock everything like that. Let's look at the physics constraint. So it's here, uh, wait, let's leave them like that. So the twist should actually be just hosted streamlabs le elite elite tech workshop just hosted the stream eight thanks man that's awesome zero skies also followed thanks that's that's it's really awesome kind of overwhelm i hadn't expected i was expecting i would be by myself now but yeah that's really cool guys okay or gals um, okay so what I've done is I've rotated this as I've said before and I'll say it again because you may have not been here um, the physics constraint when when you have the twist motion it should actually make sense so the twist here is in the horizontal plane okay so I've rotated it so it's, it's twists for, for this object also now 
this should already work I think now let's try it out uh, wait should we leave the chair I don't know will the CPU explode I don't think so I've actually made a rope in the tutorial I've made a rope um, with um, I think it was 50 segments so there were at least 50 physics constraint and it still worked and my computer is not that powerful so I think it's not really that big of an issue so let's see so if I try to rotate ah so this is yeah okay so this is huge as you can see when I poke it it moves really really slow and that's because its mass is great but it does work okay so we've got this rotation thing going on now let's make let's add the hook so let's what should we use for the hook you <laughs> say yeah <laughs> you know what we might just do that I don't know how much I will stream but we might just do that we'll see we'll see I, I can't promise anything and you know what I just thought about it let's we'll skip the hook and we'll put a platform okay so let's put a platform here add cube like that and just call it platform and we'll scale it so we scale on the X on the end the Y and what's let's make it three meters right that and just on the Z we'll put it at 10 centimeters I think sh well well maybe 20 so we don't have any objects that pass through it okay so now man that's a great idea use the crane to pick up the chair that's yeah okay so let me think about it so here let's look at it so here we have two things going on so we have two limits one well two f maybe two physics constraint or maybe one we'll see if we can do it with one always try to use the least amount of physics constraints when we're do thing doing something so here we've got this lighting going on so uh, we've got this point the slides and it keeps the the hook and then the hook actually has total free freedom of movement in a sphere around this point so we might have to I think we may have to put an object here and then ho uh, hook well <laughs> that's a pun right there so we'll hook the hook to that object and then that only that object will slide and then the hook will be able to move freely around it uh, yeah I think we'll, we'll do like this because otherwise I think it will be too complicated but normally I should I would try to eliminate that and just have less physics constraints okay okay let's just add a cube again for the let's say a cursor should it, I think cursor yeah my English is not I mean I, th I think it's okay but it's not a great we'll, s we'll just call this cursor because it moves like that okay so then we would put the platform as a child to the cursor okay so we move let's, let's again well let's put the same coordinates here wait what oh no it was actually great so we'll put this to zero like that because it's zero it's because it's a child of the cursor that which can just put zero here like that so by the way the people for people that joined in I'm trying to implement a physics based crane so now I'm doing this thing right here that slides I could could have called it slider yeah uh, so let's scale it 
down a bit. <laughs> of course, we scale both. No, no, let's just leave it like that. It's great, right? Okay, so now let's just have these two and have this slide. Okay, so for that physics constraint, I think we already know. So we'll, pay, we'll say cursor slider. I don't know. So first component will be. So will be the the arm actually, or the pole. We actually let's. Yeah, I think I think we should try to hook it to the pole. The arm here is just for visual representation. I'm, uh, yes, we just end up calling a <laughs> platform. Yeah, I know. I try to give them names, actually. It's really useful. Where am I from? I'm from Roma Romania. So, yeah, trying to hide a bit of Eastern Europe accent. So it's not, it's not like Russian, you know, and trying to hide my Russian accent. No, it's not like that, but yeah. It's a bit of an accent, yeah. Where are you from, by the way? So, so let's have this slide, okay? So, custom cursor slider, not custom. So, first component that would be. So, I won't try to hook it to the arm because it's a child of this one, and we might get problems. So, let's hook hook it to the pole directly because the arm and the pole just move together okay so this one and here we'll just put cursor right so then I have so we're not interesting in the angular limits we'll lock everything we're just interested in the slide motion linear limits here so that would be um, the x-axis right and then we'll actually put limited so now this is the Denmark <laughs> and UK cool yeah I don't know I would yeah but well I like accents doing accents but I Denmark I have no idea how to do that UK I think I can do no. That's good. No, no, no. That's not good. Sorry, it's late. Just going off mark here. Sorry. Okay, so let's concentrate. So this one will have to slide like that. So cursor slider here. So this will be limited. Okay. So what I was trying to say is that here for the linear limits. As you can see here for the rotational limits, angular limits, well, we can actually add a rotation offset. So then when it, when it starts simulating physics, uh, then it actually ends up uh, in another position. But for this one, for the linear limits, we cannot actually do that. So wherever we have the object, so that's like here the angular limits so the curse of the slider that actually sets the limits when we here limited so let's say okay let's calculate this quickly so we have this one was how much uh, 20 meters okay so we've got like let's say 5 meters here so 15 so let's would be 7 meters left and 7 meters right so when we put this to limited then so let's put this 7 meters that's 700 centimeters right wait why okay okay we have to change that but wait let's change it now so put the curse the slider here and then uh, let's yeah the problem is that the physics constraint was not parented to the cursor Let's just put here the location zero zero zero. That's good. So now as we can see the limits. So actually, 
not calculated good uh, are there limits right I don't know but yeah so as I was saying <laughs> or yeah I yeah <laughs> that's because I'm whispering probably and now a physics constraint is creeping in no okay so sorry uh, okay um, trying to concentrate okay so let's see so we've got limited so as I was saying the thing is that when we have this limitation this applies to the left hand to the right of the uh, position of the, the object when we start simulating but we cannot shift this to the left or to the right so we cannot have the object here and they say okay you start sliding from here to here which is we have to put it in the middle or I don't know where I, I couldn't find a solution for this you know I'm still learning so for this one for this one this cursor slider uh, I don't know why this is show like this it should be good but let's say we'll put this to 500 or maybe less well I don't know why it should be good uh, I think that's it so I'll put it to the oh sorry about that I'll put it to the middle here yeah that's it yeah see you light tech workshop see you uh, next time it was nice having you on the stream uh, really really glad that I got to know you okay so uh yeah so we've got this sliding done so i think it should work now we just have to put the cursor in simulate physics like that okay so let's try this now so i'll push let's push this well it doesn't quite work ah yeah because we forgot to, to disable the collision always remember to disable the collision between the two objects that you link except when you don't want to do that so yeah <laughs> get, <laughs> get that scary movie in the background yeah maybe I will I don't know uh, yeah I'll, I'll try to find uh, some service that has music and stuff. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> thanks, thanks a lot. I'll s see you next time. Okay, so I think we should... Yeah, okay. So before leaving, by the way, if you haven't left, this works. So the slider works. Well, it should, right? Yeah, that's cool. that's really nice so yeah we already have this nice implemented okay so what we want to do now is actually have the platform uh, in relation constrained properly in relation to our cursor so let's see so the platform is now a child I'll just add a physics constraint to that and we'll say platform <laughs> let's just call it constraint ah you're lurking okay <laughs> nice okay that's good platform um, what was that platform constraint let's say okay 
so this will actually parent this one to the cursor okay so it should move together and uh, well we actually want this uh, I think we want this to the same location as the cursor so here we'll just put a zero it's because it's parented then we can put relatives uh, position zero now um, let's link these so let's uh, simulate physics on the platform that's good and then I'll put this here will say first component cursor second one platform okay platform like that now we'll think about a little bit about how this works so let me just uh, pull up um, Krita so we can see I'll try to draw something and well if it loads if it doesn't we'll try something else okay what was that uh, Yeah, just new okay so let's say so I hope you can see so we have the crane like that and the cursor here and the platform is here so the platform will so this moves less than right slides left and right and the platform here well if we do our cursor here we just mark it with a point and have the platform like here then the platform can move around this point in a sphere like that so it actually like that in a sphere right but uh, let's think about it yeah because well if considering that the rope that it's uh, connected with doesn't have any tension it can actually be in any direction uh, in any position and rotation and long as it is inside the sphere uh, which is actually given this one right here which is actually given by the length of the rope right so I think yeah we'll just do like that okay so let's see let's see here so now we'll take the platform constraint and we'll say okay so we'll say the linear limits are limited so we'll limit this so should we wait i'm thinking if we don't limit uh that's i don't know how hmm. I'm trying to think of how we're gonna stabilize the platform so it stays horizontal so I think maybe we'll simplify this and we'll just leave the rotation on I think that's easier so um, we'll leave this to locked I think But then we have to control 
the height of the platform. Hmm. Let's see. Let's just leave it to that for now and test it out. Okay. Uh, have we forgotten something or not? This is simulating physics. We don't care about the collision, so we can just leave it like that. Yeah, let's try it out. So, let's see. It actually works, I think. Yeah, it kind of works. Yeah. So the only thing that we would need to do now... So let's just add some uh, friction to these because it's too much. So let's see here. Cursor slider will put some friction to this. Uh, so because it's linear movement, then we'll just check the linear movement that's in the x-axis here. And we'll put the stank to 50. Okay, let's say 50 because the masses are great. We just don't put a, ma a strength of 1 because it won't do anything. We'll just put 50 and that should be okay. And here for the platform. Let's say, okay, so the platform rotates. I will try to limit the the velocity of the rotation so that means the angular motor here will put twist and sing as because well let me have a look at this so the platform constraint is this one so yeah as you can see it's not good here again the the green thing let's look everything so the green thing means twist so twist should be in the horizontal plane so we have to rotate this because otherwise we have problem when swinging when limited limiting the swinging so let's just put it like that 90 degrees okay so let's just unlock everything and we can actually put this limited to like that or just limit it uh, you know what we don't actually need to have it uh, twisting so we just lock this because twisting means rotating like that and it's just not useful but although we could in real life we could have that so let's see here we'll look so we'll limit this to as you can see it can swing within this cone now that's good already and let's add the friction rub we talked about and because it's only about swinging we just check the swing here and we'll put let's say 50 also we'll see how it goes so let's try it out now And that's funny. That's funny. So when the platform moves, it actually moves the. You know, this is interesting. So when the platform moves, it actually pulls the cursor with it. So we don't actually want that. And there's a fix for that. There's a fix for that. So here. Well, actually, mm, we may want that. I don't know. Well, the thing is, there's a fix for that. So we have a here in the physics constraint. We can define. Uh, where was it? 
I think he was child, no, parent. Yes, parent dominates. So the thing is that the one which is considered the parent, so it's, I think, the first component here, it's considered the parent. So if we check parent dominates, then the platform will never be able to move the cursor, right? So let's try this. Okay, so we'll check this, save here, try again now. So if we, now theoretically, if I push this now, wait. Ooh, I think it considers the parent the other one. <laughs> that's, that's weird. Mm, I may have to check this uh, another time. When set the parent body in a constraint will not be affected by the move mode of by the motion of the child. So that should be okay, but I mean which one is the parent, right? The parent should be the first one, I think. See that's the problem with the physics constraint, there's not enough uh documentation to go around. You know, it's just so which one is the parent? We don't know. Yeah, parent dominates. Yeah, let's just, you know what? Let's leave it like that. Uh, so it will affect the cursor, but it doesn't. I mean, we can do some stuff. If we increase the mass of the parent, it will not be affected by this one, or either that, or we can, here in the cursor slider, we just put 100 for the friction, and it should be okay, I think, now. Yeah. So you can see, as you can see, it doesn't move. You know what? It might be something related to that. So because, so what Zero Sky 36 is saying is because I've put the platform as the child of this one that it might be reconsidered. But even so, if, and if you're right, the, the problem is that, I mean, the platform is still the child of the cursor so it should work right i mean the parent is the cursor it's what we want but yeah i'll have to check that another time i think we're i think it's not important right now I mean, we you almost never use this so the constraint is self so you said ah yeah is considered a child not the default scene root yes you know what? Let's just let's just take it out. Wait. So platform constraint. Let's take it out. Okay. Uh, wait. I think we'll do that. Attach. Will it stay in place? Okay, it stayed in place. That's good. Well, let's try again now. Just simple without anything. Uh, I think it behaves the same way. Yeah. And then let's go here, parent. Parent dominates. Let's check this again. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, there's definitely a problem there. Starting to accelerate. I think it's sentient right now. It's starting to move by itself. Well, it's definitely something with the hierarchy, I think. You didn't check the parent dominates? Yeah, before I didn't check it, but now uh, I did. See here. I didn't, because I wanted to test it like this. 
but now I did and this still doesn't work I don't know but uh, wait 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 so the cursor slider did I disable the collision yes and here let's just disable this collision also you never know right so let's try again wait was it that not quite <laughs> that's funny <laughs> it's like you have a, you have a crazy guy that mas that's manipulating the that's manipulating the crane that's <laughs> okay mm, yeah so I think we'll drop it for now because we can spend a lot of time on this and I don't think it will be fun so let's leave it to that and then as the uh, parent dominates we'll deactivate that so now it should work like before let's go ahead and try that so if I grab this it doesn't work right So as, actually, as you can see it wobbles because this wait can I grab it yeah uh, you know what we have a small problem here because the mass <laughs> yeah that's fun because the mass in actually when you when you look at it it, ro it it moves really like it would in real life but the problem is in my character here I have a character and I'm actually using a physics constraint to grab other objects um, and the problem is that is not s that strong that it can withstand the mass of the crane so what we'll do here let's say a pole well pole 37 kilograms that's not a lot that's weird. Uh, cursor. I see that we have a problem here because the cursor is really heavy. And the pole is not. So let's put the cursor. You know, we'll tweak this manually. So with the cursor, let's say, we'll put this to 10 kilos. We'll put the pole to. Uh, Uh, to 100 let's say arm I can't remember exactly I think it's the pole that sets the mass to the arm also might be I can't remember because it's a child I think so so it's only the, p the pole's mass that is taken into account here I think okay so let's see cursor here platform platform is four kilos that's good I don't know why so let's try again now can we grab it no we can't okay so uh, uh, yeah I know what that happens okay so let's see yeah, I know what happens. So the problem is that in my character that I'm manipulating with, it's I have a I have a uh, condition that the body has to simulate physics, otherwise I can't grab it. So when I look at the the arm here, I can't actually grab it. I can only grab the pole or this or the cursor. So that's why that's why I had the feeling that it doesn't I cannot grab it so let's see here so if I grab this that's fun that's really fun whoa okay wait okay so where were we Okay, so stuff is working, but some 
is not. So let's just get this lower, by the way. I think we'll get this lower here. You know what? Let's just, let's put. Yes, I think I could, but yes, I, I definitely can. Let's see. <laughs> the thing is, you would. <laughs> that's a that's a funny question, because uh, I know what what you mean. I mean, but the problem is, you would have to have a physics-based character in order to actually have that effect that you're talking about. So when you you stand on the chair and then you pull this, it will pull the chair. Well, you you would have to have a physics-based character, which actually did actually did an implementation of physics-based character, but it's not perfect. I haven't perfected it, but um, I wanted to do a tutorial on that, by the way. But um, yeah, it's really old. I think I did it at least a year ago or something. But and with that you would be able to do that but here you wouldn't but let me, you know what we'll try we'll actually try to put the chair on top of the platform whoa okay so we can already see, see a problem here so the rotation doesn't quite help right so as you can see it topples yeah well let's try again this let's just take a cube because that's simpler right so we'll put So we have we have something to move now, right? Wait. It doesn't work. Wait, I don't understand. Whoa, that's uh, that's not good. That's not good. So I think the pl platform would just stay. Wait. So let's go into the platform constraint right here. Uh, what we can do is actually use some angular motor so it keeps it in place where we could just uh, should we lock it in place I don't know maybe Let's add some uh, angular motors here. So, so what we'll use the angular motors for is to actually make the platform come back to its vertical position. So for that, let's go ahead. So it's the swing motions that we're interested in. So swing here and we'll have zero because it's exactly this position. So let's see, we'll put here to, let's say, a thousand, so it's more convincing, right? So let's try to do it now. Yeah, so I think the force that it uses to come, to make it come back, it's not that, let's put 5,000. And 6,000, okay, because that's what I typed. And here we'll actually put this to a thousand so it doesn't move that quickly. Wait, so if it's then okay, this type of path normally uses four ropes from each corner, yes. And and yeah, you're right. And we could actually do that, we could actually use four physics constraints to do that, but. I don't think it's really that important. I mean, if, if you fully want that in your game, you can, you can do that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you're saying that because it's doing that, it has more stability. Yes, I know. But we just fake it, you know. <laughs> so let's see now. Have we managed to do anything? No, not quite, right? Yeah, you know what? We just give up well we don't give up but we just lock everything so well I think it's just stiff now it's kind of like being a child of that so let's try again now wait 
So this is too big. What's, what's, what's the scale of this? It's four times, you know, we'll put, put this to two. Yeah, you're right. So, yes, it's because the anchor point of the platform is here, right in the middle. So, once you put uh, something heavy here, it just flips. It just topples. It's it's normal. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's just it will take too much time to just put for physics constraints. We'll just leave it like that. But we can. Uh, you know what? You know what? We'll fix this right now and really easy. I'll show you how. So now let's let me think about this. So and this is it's this is important because it touches on uh, a very important thing about the physics constraint. So now the physics constraint has because it has two components here. Now for the first component, the red line, what it will actually do is have uh, it will simulate its so it's very difficult to explain this, but the rotation and the movement here, let's say let's leave the rotation because this is more important. So when you rotate, what it will take the the location of the second object this one, the platform, and rotate it around the point where the physics constraint is located in relation to the first object. So the red line here that you see is considered to be like a like a steel bar. It's, it's just so this point where the physics constraint is is just. Um, is just the location around which we consider all these constraints okay so well actually yeah it's kind of it's hard to explain but the thing is that the if we leave it locked like that the the cursor is actually grabbed by the platform in this point so it's not grabbed from here it's grabbed from here so what we'll do uh, maybe we'll you'll understand it easier if we do the other way around so the fix about the platform because we wanted to uh, connect it with four points so we have the cursor here like that and we wanted a rope and then we want this right like that well, this point will be to the center here, that metal bar that I was talking about. So if we just flip the positions and put the platform here and the cursor here, right? then now what I've said about the cursor is actually true about the platform. So now the platform is actually grabbed from here, from this point, right? So what this does is actually simulate this, the fact that we have four ropes that pull on the platform, right? So let's just get this lower or maybe, maybe higher. So it yeah it's really yeah that's what i've been saying to myself is that man you don't have i mean this should be somewhere in the documentation you don't have to you shouldn't have to you know sift through code to actually understand this and you even if you look at the code you don't really understand it yeah so yeah i've i've not actually explained it at a hundred percent but that's kind of it. So here, uh, again, so the platform itself is not anchored to this point, to, to its center. It's anchored here. 
so but f for this one it's not true so it's not it's it's weird but remember is that the red line always stays the same okay and the blue line uh, actually it's where these take effect okay so now let's reactivate what we wanted so it's the swing motions right we have 45 45 degrees okay let's try again now so let's try this let's drag this cube so right i think yeah as you can see it actually acts like so the red line is like a metal pole and the blue line is like a rope line is well well it's not quite like that well i'll just try i'll, I'll explain it uh, in a bit I'll, I'll try to explain it again maybe just a second so let's try this uh, again right let's just put a platform here why i didn't do this before i don't know but let's put a platform here so i can move onto it okay so just jump on this okay that's cool so let's take this okay come on so put it here so you can see it already accepts it being on the side as you can see here so it's just wait let's put it really on the side yeah and let's try to rotate this again wait the other way around uh, I think like that yeah so it already works as you can see it's a lot more stable and the more we lift this up the more stable it will be right I think you know that but I'm just saying let's Let's get this closer, closer here, right? Come on. Hop. Yeah. So now it's starting to look nice. Okay, so getting back to this, because I wanted to explain this. So I've actually not explained this really well in my tutorials because I don't know how exactly to express this but so the physics constraint actually uh, uh, imposes some constraints on the two objects in relation to each other so one in relation to the other okay so the thing is that um, here you have so normally what I would consider is this first one being the the parent object although I don't know so the first one being the most important second one would be the child but they are not actually I don't know so as this is different now it's platform that it's the parent of this one although it's not actually the parent but yeah so the thing here is that when you impose these conditions they will be imposed uh, in in let's say in the space between the objects although it's not correct right so it's it will be imposed they will be imposed on the relative positions and rotations of the objects okay that's the right way to say it okay but these positions and rotations are calculated based on some parameters so in this case instead of the uh, platform being having its um, how do you say its anchor point in the middle it will actually have its anchor point here so that's that's the most important thing to remember so instead of so when you apply these instead of considering the platform as having its 
anchor point here it will have it here okay now the blue one the other one okay the second one will not the second one at least in my from what I know is the second one will actually have its own uh, so the anchor point will actually be its own center right its own pivot actually pivot point so this is what happens here that let's say if I say I limit the, the motion on the z-axis well it will be limited from this position and yeah almost also it's hard to explain but the thing is that the position that so the limit that you put is actually relative to the no, wait so these are calculated considering the relative positions of the object so when you put the limit to z let's say here let's put it to 100 centimeters right so the thing is that this is really hard to explain but I mean, the yeah, it's hard to concentrate now. Yeah, I'm not sh really sure how to explain it, but these limits are rel are are calculated uh, considering the relative position between these two. Okay, so as you can see here, this. Yeah. Wait, I think I lost my train of thought there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I it's just late now. I can't consider. I, I actually this is really hard to explain, and that's probably because I haven't understood it a hundred percent. But just remember this: when you put this here, the red line will never diminish okay so the position between this point and this point is like a steel bar it will never be less or more or something or twisted okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> well I kind of have to still <laughs> it's, it's two o'clock in the morning where I live but yeah <laughs> You know, if, if we're doing this, we're doing this. Uh, we're just asleep, asleep afterwards. Okay, so yeah. So remember, the the red line will always stay the same. Okay, and it's like this object that has that it is red will have its anchor point here. That's how it's considered. And so the limit that you see here will be around this point. But. Nah, yeah, but not, uh, yeah. But it's actually not like that. It's not around this point. It's around the point of the other object. The 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 the, the, the start. So yeah, this is very important. So the position, the positions that are considered first, are actually the positions. A relative positions between the objects when you start simulating physics so at the moment when you start simulating physics the relative positions between the two these are the ones that are considered when applying the limits right so uh, when you have limited here on the z or on the x even though it's showed here it's actually around this point right around the position of the second objects object I, I think you know what I just explained too much right now I have to put this in to, to actually formulate this on my own to actually be useful but I think you get what I mean yeah as you say so yeah too much theory let's do something more fun okay so so actually we've done what you we wanted to do and 
grab this from here so it, now it's cool uh, it has more stability so let's see here so let's try actually putting this on top well, let me grab it from the top otherwise it won't work I grab it from here right That's be ah yeah I think it <laughs> of course, <laughs> of course it won't stay because because it has wheels. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe I can explain it later, yeah. So, of course, the chair will not sit on top of this because it has wheels, you know. It's, it's funny because actually the physics are actually working like they should now <laughs> and it actually doesn't want to stay still uh, wait uh, so this wait 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 come on yes okay so <laughs> stay there a bit <laughs> yeah so every yeah okay yeah that's normal you know what? We'll just put it upside down. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Okay. Uh, it's like a robot. Yeah. So, you know what? I think this is kind of done and the only thing wha we would want to do is control this length right here okay so wait 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 do we why well, we could put cables on it actually uh, you know if we do this properly we should put something in the middle like uh, an object and then actually have ropes onto it but first let's try to change this so let's try to you know what let's put this if you have you have lower stability we'll put that on there so you can see better so how do we control this I can't remember exactly so let's see I think uh, where was that I think it was you know what I'll cheat a bit let's look let's look at what we done before what I've done before because uh, I've used this but I can't remember for for what uh, Power well, I can't remember. Yes, I remember this one, but for the lady radio lever switch, which one was that? Radio lever switch, can't remember. Uh, wait, so if I rotate it, uh, no, 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 I, I, wait, now I, okay, okay, I remember now, okay, so the thing is, this, this is great actually, because it, we're gonna use real physics, so the position that this platform will have will actually be set using forces so let's see I think right uh, which one platform so normally we would want to set a position target but the problem with this target no that should be good okay so Okay, so let's see. Uh, where should we consider the first? 
So let's say it's let's say like it's like this normally, and then when we retract it, right? Then we diminish this. So the thing is now, if we look at the constraints here, we have limited on Z motion. Why? No, no, this should be locked actually. Okay. So, well, actually, uh, we'll limit. Well, yeah, we'll take that. Yeah, down. So, the swing. You know what? We'll just lock the swing because they were not interested right now. It will just complicate things. So now we'll just work with the Z motion, okay? But now it's locked, so it's like a metal bar between the two, you know, it just stays in place, okay? Now we want what we want to do is actually uh, wait, not the Z. Wait, that's because it's rotated, and then what we want to do is, I think this. No, wait, that's this one. So the green line, it's you can't see it really, but yeah, it's here. So we'll say the X motion, and that's because the physics constraint it's oriented downwards. So the X axis is now downwards. So yeah. So as I said before, because we the limit can all be set in up and down, then well, we have to. Uh, when you know what, we'll just leave it like that. Let's see, because okay. Let's change this one. So we need another. Let's say for hundred, five hundred. Where was? Yeah, five hundred. So I think that's okay. Well, it. Let's say four hundred. Okay. So now platform will be able to move between this well from this point up to here and down to here so let's say if this is on a building or something on a platform it will actually be able to move downward from its position yeah so I don't think it's really a problem but so if we have this l motion limited it would just fall on the ground, right? So that's because we don't have any motors. We actually have these motors, but just let's just deactivate them because rotation is not, it's locked now. So let's try again. So as you can see, I've let it, come on. So it can move from here, actually to somewhere on the ground, okay? Okay, let's again come on. As you can see, it just moves up and down. Now, because we want it to stay somewhere in between, right? Because it has to stay somewhere in between, then we're going to use actually a motor, a linear motor to do that. And this is really cool. It's It will work like in real life because in real life when you when you keep an object to a certain height then uh, well you keep it using a force right and when you have a when you have a rope it actually uses the the tension of the rope to keep it in place so if the the mass of the object is too great it will just pull on the rope too much and break it so in order to keep this in place we'll use a uh, position target right so because it's in, it's on the x-axis this by the way is relative to the physics constraints because it's it's uh, on the x-axis we'll just use here position target on the x right and we'll say we'll say zero for now so that means zero it means it will want to stay here where it is right now and Let's just well use let's use uh a hundred let's say but you see that it will still fall to the ground and eh, probably not oh yeah okay so it doesn't uh, as you can see it acts like a spring that's because there's a force that tries it tries to keep it in place here 
and it's kind of is it's it's cool because uh because it actually acts like a rope right so the rope it's a little bit elastic exactly like this one okay so here if we wanted to act even more like a rope you'll actually activate also the velocity target um and we'll put here let's say 50 and this will add a friction so let's try this again so well that's not good it should be less let's say 20. this dampens the movement right so as you can see it dampens it really nice right let's put this even higher so now if we don't want it to wobble We'll just take this up to 400, let's say, right? And now, if I try to grab it again, right? So that's good, right? So normally, if we put an object onto it, well, what we see is that we need more force, right? It's, it acts as a scale. Well, okay, so the the office chair is actually attacking me right now okay that's probably because it's so late okay so we need more force right more force we need more force thousand okay let's try again now so this let's see this object what so it's a hundred kilos okay so we have a hundred kilos on this subject put it here so that's already better, right? But I think we have to go is a move force three thousand, right? That's good. That's starting to look nice, right? And let's add some more damping, and that's just because we used more force right. that's good, that is, that's actually acting like a rope right, okay you go away that's cool, okay This is to go even further. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean by that. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Um, okay, so now, okay, last thing. I think so. This one is the most important. So, how do we actually move it up and down? Well, it's very simple. I'm glad you asked. Well, it's very simple. So this position target is, you see here, we actually control it through blueprints. Ah, Dragon Ball Z. Uh, don't really know that one. I I know about it, but I don't know it. I haven't, haven't actually watched it. Yeah. Uh, ah, yeah, it's over 9,000, right? No, that might be from another story. Okay. Uh, okay, so yeah, so as I was saying, so how do we control this up and down? Very simple. We set we set each time its position target, and we can actually change it, uh, uh, change it in real time, change this strength if we wanted to. I don't know. Let's let's lower the tension of the rope, but I think we'll just leave it like that. So we'll change this one, right? The position target. Well how do we how do we set it i don't know because the problem is that we would have to look at the object and well let me look here right okay oh this is a mess 
phrase from the screen. Uh, I can't remember it, but but the thing is, I've, I have implemented a use functionality. So when I when I push E, then I can use an object, right? If I remember correctly, check trace. Uh, yeah, who remembers it, right? But I think I did because well let me check. I hope it doesn't crash now, but let's let's slow the catapult. Well, I don't have a map for that. And you know what? We'll just put it here. Let's make a big happy family, right? I think is which one was that? This one, right? Okay. Wait. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know what? Let's get the uh, which one? <laughs> which one was I using? Hinge door. I can't remember. Propeller. trebuchet let's 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 try the trebuchet okay okay so if I push E on this one yeah it pulls it down okay so yeah by the way I don't know if you know about this one but yeah so I push E again yeah cool okay so this one I use it with E with E key right I push E and then I push E to release if I remember correctly yeah I forgot but yeah so I use I use the E key to use it <laughs> so let's see here event use and yeah of course so let's go back to our crane and then we'll use the use event, right? Let's get rid of these and event use. Uh, where was uh, where was event use uh, use event? Uh, wait, what? Why isn't it there? Let's just copy for this one, right? Ah, I have to implement. Yeah, I'm tired. That's why. Uh, what? That's not right. Class settings interfaces add use event. I use this one. That's it's very original, right? The name is very original. So now that I've implemented it, I should have the event use here. That's this one. Okay, so when I use, let's say that when I use, I want it to, let's get rid of this. When I use it, I want it to go up. Okay. Oh, let's, let's see again. Although we will be able to make it come down also of course let's say so when I use this yeah so when I use this will make it go up okay so we'll take the physics constraint uh, of the platform this one and very simple if you look here it's called position target Okay, so say set position target. Set linear position target, right? And uh, set linear position target, and we'll put this, we'll say a make vector like that. And if we look here, so let's see, we want it to go. So if we look at the physics constraint, we have it here. So 
so it's zero let's consider it zero and minus 500 oh, well that's not good because so yeah again the, the location here is actually the location relative to the physics constraint so don't look at this one don't look at the position of his physics constraint because that is in relation to its parent so yeah so we actually have to look at this one and consider well let's say what was uh, so we had a freedom of 500 uh, units right centimeters uh, 400 sorry so that means here wait in the event graph here we'll put 400 to plus let's say all the plus is downwards so I, I would say it's minus right because it's oriented downwards right so the minus should be upwards like that now the problem with this is that it will actually teleport so let's see so if I push E now uh, it doesn't work and why is that well let's see we can debug it right ah yeah so wait huh? like that and let's say E now so as you can see it actually sets the position but what I suspect it uh, happens because this doesn't move right they don't move so actually the position is set right now but because the, the object is not moving it doesn't update its position right so here we'll actually have to call on the platform right because this is the the object that should be moving we'll call wake right wake rigid body because it's not moving it it's not it's it went into sleep so it's not calculating its position so the linear position target is actually set it's just not applied to the object itself okay so if you try again now as you can see it's kind of teleported there it that doesn't teleport it but it just moves really quickly okay right and that's good but it's not great what we want is to move slowly right so what we'll do is instead of setting um, Uh, we have to use wait well, normally we could have used move component 2 like that so I think you know what I think we can hack our way through this and actually use move component 2 and then set it afterwards like this <laughs> which is shouldn't we shouldn't actually do that we could use a timeline here right uh, but I might not get this because I'm really tired now I might not because I uh, it's more complicated you know what let's just, it basically what what you should do you actually here in the event use you should go and play and then pass this here and set uh, add to the linear position right you just add every frame and then you go upwards but you know what we'll just we'll just um, hack it now the problem with hacking this now is that if you have an object in its way right here let's say I put an object here like that it won't stop it will just pass through it okay but normally that's that's the cool thing about physics objects is that when you move them properly with forces and stuff they just block if this is stationary here the platform will just stop there or will block it or will push it out of way 
Uh, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Well, it, yeah. It's it's kind of simple. What I'm trying to do is just yeah, kind of tired, and that's why it doesn't work so well. But uh, yeah, so the advantage of using a timeline here would be that you just update this every frame and so you actually don't move it you don't force it to move you just tell it to go there with this right with the position target so it's using this strength to move the object in the position that you're giving it right here so I'm not sure if I'm gonna get this right with the uh, no, let's just use movable component, but just remember that because normally you won't do that, right? Okay, so uh, let's see, but yeah, we have a problem with this because when we try to use move component, and it's gonna be somewhere over here, right? Wait, so yeah, so see the difficulty. <laughs> I'm glad I'm glad it's useful yeah um, you know what let's just try to do that it's late so you know what let's just do it what is the timeline right if I remember this correctly a timeline right here okay so now from here we'll use play new time zero let's go into this so we we'll just add a float right uh, then add a key uh, uh, length no we'll put a length of one and so we'll put a zero to one, right? Um, how do you add a key? Add a key, right? Zero, uh, zero, and zero here, and then add another key. Uh, zero. T wait, no, it was one and one, right? Uh, like that. So, so we'll just say 0 to 1 and then we'll multiply this with 400, right? And it will just scale to... So we'll have the track here and then... So let me... Do we need to wake it every time? No, we don't. So maybe we'll just wake it first. Wait, Seth. Uh, well, let's just let's just leave the wake there. We don't care about the optimization right now. So now, when we update, we execute this, right? And here, instead of this, we'll say uh, constant. Hey, wait, wait! I know a cool thing here. So it's called literal. I don't know if you heard about it, but it's a literal float, right? And you put what value you want here. Of course, you can put it in a thing here, but this is like a variable, like a like a constant or something, right? So now we take this and mul multiply it with no, 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 not a, not a vector with a float like that. And I think, yes, and uh, it's assuming minus 400, right? Uh, yeah, you can lerp also. I, you know what? Lerp it's, it was kind of tricky for me. I used it, but I'm not really used to it. Uh, but we still need a timeline, right? Because if not, then you would use. Um, you would need a loop, right? Because you have lerp like that. 
Ah, yeah, okay, sorry, yeah, I know what you mean now. Yeah, you lerp, yeah, of course. Yeah, well, you know what, we'll just leave it like that. It should work, right? So, if you have this from 0 to 1, then it sh uh, Wait, there is a problem, because it does it in one second, right? Well, you know what, let's try it like that. Yeah, but you know what? It works. I'm tired right now, so we'll just leave it to that, right? So, as you can see, it works now. That's funny. It's kind of it's kind of buggy, but uh, yeah, I have this because you have the let's just not put this and let's see what happens like that of course this is not optimized but yeah I mean it works so now the only thing that would remain right is to do uh, can we do a flip-flop flip-flop I can't remember the scope of the flip-flop does it remain I think we can do a flip-flop, right? And then... Well, we use the same thing here. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll just finish this and then I get some sleep. So if we have our select, right? We use a select here. I just want to finish it now, like when I finish things okay so wait I have a select on the float right and we'll just put this here and 400 like that and then you pull it, you put it there uh, I think this should work right I can't remember I won't calculate the minus and stuff, but let's try it like this. The only thing, the only problem with this is that it will go into the ground. Yeah, maybe the reverse, you know what? I don't care. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I do care, but it once you push it once, it, it just won't. It just won't matter, you know? Okay, so, so yeah, this is it's funny so as you can see it's because it it tries to be somewhere underground it actually acts as a force onto this because it tries to put push it downwards but it's also in relation to this it's connected to this one so it's kind of, that's why it, uh, it bugs like that but if we push again and then wait what happens you know what Let's push this over. So until the the green limit is above the ground, right? That's what we care. So if we do this, wait, was it that? I don't remember. Wait. So like that. That's weird. Don't know why. It goes more than that. Oh yeah, I know why. Because the green line is in the position of the physics constraint, but we also have this length right here, right? So that's why we have this. Uh, and let's say we get this even higher. Uh, so it teleports there. I don't know why it does that, but you know what? It kind of does the trick, right? Because if I flip it and it's gonna. S it's because. Yeah, I know, because it starts from zero, right? 
that's the problem because we gave it minus 400 here and it starts from here and you would actually have to shift it yeah that's the problem well I think I think it's okay for now because yeah these are I would call these optimizations although it doesn't work like should right now but I think I think it's okay so we kind of made a crane here let's just again let's go this and uh, let's just move these a bit Words. Wait. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It works. It's like a proof of concept, right? Just so that it doesn't go into the ground, what I would do is just do that. This we don't care about uh, because it's the rotation is limited now, and I would say. Wait, so we'll take this and this, pull them up, and now it should stay above ground, right? Should stay. And then, where was this maximum? Yeah. So I think we'll just put this. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Haven't actually really use slurp but I know I should you're probably right I mean almost definitely not just probably okay so so if I do this goes there and it goes there yeah You know what? I think that's it. I would say it would it works for now. So let's just grab it and try to rotate it. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. Wait. If I push this, just plug new backtrack into alpha and be on the flip flop into reverse. If you just use up, wait. So let me see. How do we do this? Well, I add a verb here. Lerp right so it so uh, uh, it lurps between minus 400 and 400 right and 400 and the alpha would be the new tr the track right mm. will it be this way but the problem ah so where does the flip-flop go wait just and so in the flip-flop so we don't care about the flip-flop wait let's try it like this oh yeah no so we have to flip it right yeah so we have to multiply this with minus one when we flip it right uh so let's say am i right yeah, I think minus one and one and then we'll multiply this with here like that. Plug B into reverse. You mean like this? Ah okay. Wait, so B into <laughs> <laughs> yep that's exactly always find i always find the the more com complicated solution yeah of course 
That's funny. Yeah, it's only the first one that bugs and it's normal. <laughs> That's cool, man. Thanks a lot. That really helped. Of course, the reverse, right? Um, so, and you know what? This should actually work in the mid, in mid air. Yeah. It actually stops and that's cool. That's really cool. So here we'll just uh, we we can put time two seconds, right? Wait, and two seconds, right? Here and here, and here we'll put two like that. Save again and come on. Ah, that's so smooth. I like it. Awesome. So you want? So this is, uh, if we want it, uh, I, I mean, it just so it's more easier. We say event begin play here, and we'll just stabilize it, right? We'll put it already on the bottom, right? So we'll put it to. Uh, well, yeah, I don't know exactly where it will be, right? So let's say that this one is. Wait, so just zero here. We zero out here and take this one and put it like that. Same position. So it would be this Z minus 400, right? So it's two point something. It should be the B on the lerp. Hmm. Wait, wait, wait. Let's back. Let's back. Okay, always trying to find the more complicated solution wait so you said it should be it should be B on the lerp uh, not sure what you mean by that won't change it no it won't no because you change what we do well let's, let's do it like this so you so you know but, but, but what, you, what did you mean here by it should be on B on the lerp Healy Keely seven hundred and ninety has I'm not sure what that emote is, but Bog Champ. Hmm. Not sure what that is, but it's a champ, right? I get I guess it's good. Um Okay, so well what we'll do right if you miss the uh, position that it's meant to be yeah the thing is well it's well yeah I will go really quickly there so what we'll do is actually let's let's just I'll show you really quickly so we'll set this right there okay and we'll put this to uh, so we'll put it on the bottom, right? So this will be 400, like that. Okay, so put it here. Okay, so now if we try this, then it will. Uh, we, uh, you haven't seen it, but the thing is, it will go really quickly. Wait. Okay, so if I play, it just goes really quickly to the bottom. So it doesn't break it. It won't break it. But if you wanted to teleport right you just set the position right so it said uh, I take the platform also it's of course it's kind of a hack because if if you have objects in between uh, then you would yeah you would add some more complicated code 
to just transition smoothly for from any other, you know, um, any other location, right? If you set the linear position target to the position that's meant to be, uh, well, you cannot set it like that, unfortunately. Well, Kili, thanks. Yeah. Ah, you're <laughs> okay. So you're coming from YouTube. Yeah. Well, well, welcome. Right. Make sure you follow uh, to get uh, you know next time when I go live. So you're um, it tells you when I go live. Okay. So I thought you. No, what the thing is, wait, wait, what do we say? I mean, physical. No, the thing is, well, here, yeah, this is another interesting aspect, okay? So when you put that, when you put it where you want it to be, uh, the physics constraint, if you put the target here, that's okay, but when you launch it, it will do that. It will just, do, just go really quickly to that position, right? Um, and the thing is that um, you cannot already see because I've said it I think in the beginning or something you don't have any offset normally what you would do here so let's look at the constraint yeah yeah you do I do also so here you have the linear limits well there is no shift in the position as you have here the angular rotation okay so if you put the angular rotation here with an offset actually the the object will off so the actually the reference point will offset itself but you don't have that for the linear position so as i said this limit will always apply uh down and upward or left and right or how you have it so unfortunately there is no way I know that you can actually put this to start from here when the simulation begins, right? So what you would do is either make the code so that it knows how to go from there. You put, you, you put here instead of 400, you put its actual position or something like that. Uh, okay, either that or use this, right? But this is kind of a hack because if you have objects in their way then it will push them out of the way and so yeah it's not great right so if you have objects also yeah exactly feels bad man right pepe right exactly well unfortunately as cool as the physics constraint is it has a lot of feels bad moments right because it lacks some yeah some stuff but so as i was saying what we do here we'll take this and we'll set um world wait uh i think we'll set what was that relative right relative relative location like this right and then uh but you can yeah here you can use either sweep teleport stuff like that and here well if you look closely here we have minus 540 so it would be minus 800 uh, sorry 420 would be minus 820 right so we'll take this one mm. so put it here i think with an eight that should be that should do it right so if i click play now well that's not even close right that's a problem right there. I think we messed 
up some stuff. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> so wait, if I, if I go downward, yeah, that should be it. But I don't. Ah, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, of course it is. That's, wait. No, because that's that's good. On the Z, well, uh, of course, <laughs> you're right. I said I was tired. You're right. Okay. It kind of, you know, it's confusing because it's you got a physics constraint, right? And it's, it's on the x-axis, and the other one is on, of course, on the Z. And this it does have anything to do with it, as you can see. But yeah, have to pay attention to these things. Uh, wait. What did we miss now? Uh, I think... You know what? Just... Well... You put the value on this... Yeah. Yeah, that's what I did, but now it's good and it should work, although it doesn't. Hmm. But I don't know. I understand. Wait. Uh, yeah, not sure why it doesn't work. But let's eliminate this again and try like that. And So let's make it, wait, let's make it rotate, right? That's cool, man. That's cool. This actually, the, the cursor shouldn't actually do that. All right. Wait, cursor slider, this is not cool. It shouldn't do that, right? Okay. So that's how it's supposed to work. But yeah, I don't know why this should work. It's just I have a problem with the with the calculation of the positions. But it's just a it's a no-brainer. I should I'm just tired right now. I don't I don't know which one should be. This should work. I don't know because if I put minus 500, it's not logical because minus is upward, right? So. I have no idea why it doesn't work, but you know what? We'll just put here minus 20 and try that, maybe. Let's see again. Oh, that <laughs> okay. Uh, yep. That's another thing. Yeah. <laughs> just <laughs> oh man so let's you know what last thing we'll do and after that I think I'll end it here we'll do some uh, fun stuff right so let's say that we have this platform here right and we want to get this from the ground to the platform right So, get this down, get this, get this over here, yeah, come on, get to the cube, ah, damn, now it doesn't want to work, of course. Uh, 
Okay, so we put the cube here, finally, right? And then we push E, goes upward, right? And then... Well, I can't grab it from there, that's, it's, that's annoying. Come on. Well, it should work faster, right? Now oh, wait, I can I can put. Wait, no. <laughs> okay. Well, has a few bugs, right? <laughs> it yeah, has a few bugs. Cause you know what? You know this this annoys me. Wait, this annoys me. And you know what, we, this one should be 400 because it should be like that one. We'll need me this one. And we'll just put, let me put a some friction here, right? I'll put some friction in the sliding. Sliding on the X here, slide friction, not position target, velocity target, and we'll put 100. Right. That's it. Cool. And okay. Okay. Yeah, put this here. Well, come on, come on. Okay. So now we bring it up. And then let's just now uh, we'll poke, we'll poke this. Come on, come on. Uh, and then I have to poke it again, so it will stop, of course. So now... Damn. Come on, let it go. Okay. So as you can see here, it actually stopped at the platform because it's trying to go beneath the platform, but it doesn't have enough force to push it because this is immutable. So that's why it stops there. And it, that's actually really cool, right? Because when you have objects that actually stop when reaching the other objects and they just don't pass through them, it's, you know, like in the real world. So, yeah, so I've put it here and then I can just lift it up before and yeah. Finally, so we've managed to actually move a cube from here to the platform. Even though it's wobbling. Ah, uh, yeah. So, I think that's it. We have this funny looking chair. That is actually working. You know what? It's actually working. Even though it's hopping, I like that it's hopping. Hop, hop, hop. <laughs> it's a bouncy hopping chair that it's supposed to slide but doesn't. Yeah. Well, I think we'll end it here. Right? And you know what, with the stuff that we've done here, we can actually make tutorials on this. The chair should be pretty easy to do. This one has to be more polished. Uh, but the chair, yeah, the chair, I would have to fix the weights because it's wobbling and it's not good. But yeah, so <laughs> I've got this chair, which is pretty fun. Come on. You have to train it, right? <laughs> That's fun. And we have this crane, so 
I can't grab this one, I don't know why exactly. But yeah. Go up and down. And everything. It will rotate also. Yeah. So, I think we'll leave it here for today. Because I've been streaming for like it feels like forever <laughs> kind uh, was it like can't even remember but yeah so yeah look for this uh, well I'll be doing the tutorial on these not sure when I have to polish them but I'll try to get them out as soon as, as, soon as possible and I think I'll be streaming yeah, next time. I don't know why, when, maybe. Yeah, well, thanks. Uh, well, Zero Skies 36, thanks again for hanging out. Good night to you too. And well, I hope you join me next time. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be streaming tomorrow. I'll try. Uh, if not, the day after tomorrow or the next week for sure so yeah thanks a lot it, it's really good to have someone you know to bounce ideas from and uh, thanks for uh, yeah staying throughout the, the whole stream I mean kind of a hero you know <laughs> yeah Kili 790 uh, yeah you're welcome Wait, you know what? I'll try to get them out as soon as possible. Well, having said that, uh, I'll see you next time. Maybe tomorrow, who knows? And um, yeah, so just keep an eye out for the tutorials. Okay, well, see you next time. Uh, thanks a lot again for uh, for sticking sticking around. Yeah. Bye-bye.